Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time we want to program our infrared receiver and with the we want to simply react on the buttons. Yeah? We want to learn how this is done. The hardware setup we've done in the last video. Yeah? So we have here is a data line connected to pin number five, and there is the IR receiver and there is the remote control. Yeah? And we want at least to decode if we press a certain button. Okay? This is what we want to do. So, how do we do this? Uh, open a program, program, new program, yeah? start fresh, uh, save it, I will immediately save it under uh, name and Oh, the last one was 27. Okay, so we're using 28 IR remote. Good. Save. We're going to use a uh, uh, library. Okay, we have to install this library. Under Tools, Manage Libraries, we are searching for IR remote. Here, this is the IR remote by Armin Joachim Meyer. Okay, I have ins installed the latest version. You can install it too. Yeah? At the moment of shooting, 3.3 was the latest version. Good. So we are utilizing this. Yeah? So you should simply press here install. How to utilize this? Well, we're including, like always, we're including the library IR remote dot h. Good. Then we are also defining IR Data pin, yeah, this was five. Five, yes. Ooh, six, five, five. Good. Uh, this IR remote, this contains an object IR receive. This is the object it contains, okay? And I will call it RCV receive object. Yeah. The only thing we have to pass is the data bin. Okay. So now we have managed to install this object, to create this object, RCV object, receive object, and told it, yeah, look at data bin number five. Look at pin number five. Good. In the setup, we are, of course, starting the serial interface. 9.6, like always, then we do not have to change the uh, serial monitor. And write a IR decoder IR remote decoder ready hmm. little message and we are calling from this receive object enable okay enable IR in hmm. this is initializing somehow this IR receiver and so on this is doing the necessary steps to enable the infrared decoding. Okay. In the loop, in the loop, uh, we have to ask the receive object if there was something to decode. The, if, if a button is pressed, it is received, the receive object is reacting on this, and if we are calling the method decode from the receive object, 
it will either return false, then there was nothing to decode, or will return true, then something was decoded. Okay? If something was decoded, we have to restart the decoding process again. Okay? So receive object dot resume. This is restarting the decoding project. And in between here, yeah, we have to handle whatever was decoded, which command was there. Yeah? There we have to handle this. And since this will be a bigger chunk of, of code, we will define our uh, own function for this. Yeah? So we will write here uh, a function which is returning nothing. Okay. And the function should be called decode IR. This function we are going to call here. Okay. Then whenever our code comes to here, we will jump to, to, to here and make the decoding. Actually, we just have to distinguish what command we have received. So there is a great command for this, the switch command, and we will react in this receive object. There is a data structure also inside there, yeah, and this code decoded I, I, IR data. Okay, and if something was decoded, then this command is filled. In this command, we will find simply a number. Okay. There's simply a number. Uh, for instance, I know in hex 0x, this is now the hexadecimal representation, 45. Yeah? This is the power button. So if the power button is pressed, yeah, then we're receiving here command 45. So we will write serial dot print line power good uh, what else can I offer well the next button is volume plus this is 0x46 yeah. volume plus then there is you need to know this code okay you need to know this code what uh, the remote control is issuing there yeah so 47 for instance this is the funk button oh, this funk button funk stop i think it's labeled yes yeah so you could write it down yeah and then of course there's always default in the switch command. There's always a default. If no case is suiting, yeah, we will end up here. Yeah. And here we can write unknown code. Okay, so this should be already pretty nice. I will try to upload this now. It is compiling, this is already nice. So we will open the serial monitor and see what we see. I remote the code already. Woo. I'm pressing now the button, power button, power. Oh, volume plus, volume plus, funk, funk, any other button, unknown code, unknown code, unknown code. You see, here, in here, we could code something, yeah, or maybe call another uh, uh, function, 
uh, that we can react on the power button, whatever should happen there, or set simply a variable or something like this, yeah? so we can react on this. The only thing we need to, to find out somehow is the code, right? So we need somehow to write, to print out the code. Yeah? So the goal should be that you know from every button the corresponding, the corresponding command code. If there would only be a place in the program where we see or where we know the code and uh, know that we don't know the code, you know, that we, that we have a number which we maybe can print out, uh, maybe you find somewhere in this, in this uh, code a position, a suitable position to simply print out the code and then write it down. Uh, then you could also use other other IR remote controls yeah? from your television set, from your stereo, from whatever. Yeah? IR remote controls are widely spread and this IR receiver should be able to handle quite a great deal out of these remote controls. Okay? Yeah, IR remote control. This is one method on how you could control something simply from your couch. Huh? Imagine you have your mood lighting. Psst. Yeah. Next time we're talking about something which we might control with this IR. However, it's a drive. It's this thing here. Huh? This thing. It's a step motor, stepper. Stepper motor, step motor. How this is working, I'm going to explain in next video, right? Yeah, and then we will program this too. Maybe we can combine this IR remote with the stepper motor. Would be nice. For this time, thank you very much for listening, and goodbye.